Welcome back. It is Thursday, and that means it is time for another round of Ask Ellen. Today's question comes from Lee. He wants to know what makes the wind blow, and I don't know that we've highlighted this before. Yeah, this is a great question, and you'd think that once you get to a certain age, you'd be like, oh, I know why the wind blows, but I don't think a lot of people actually know why. No. So this is a great time to talk about wind and why wind blows. It all has to do with pressure, and I'm sure you've heard us meteorologists talking about pressure from time to time, but I wanted to kind of put it into terms that I think more of us can relate to. So I was thinking of pressure, and I was thinking of pressure cookers. A lot of people have used these or even owned these. If you have a pressure cooker, we know that the air inside is compressed, right? High pressure inside of a pressure cooker. Well, on the outside of this area of pressure, we have low pressure areas. There's less pressure outside. So what happens when you loosen the top? Anybody with a pressure cooker knows. The steam escapes in a rapid motion, trying to get from high pressure out to areas of lower pressure. Same thing is true in the atmosphere. The whole reason why air moves or wind moves is because it's trying to go from high pressure to low pressure. The whole reason why we have high pressure and low pressure areas on our Earth is because the sun does not equally heat the Earth. If we look at our Earth, we have the equator and we also have the poles. We naturally will get a more direct sun angle and more sun at the equator than the poles. So this creates pockets of areas of high pressure and low pressure. Along with that, the Earth is spinning and we have surface friction that we have to account for as the wind is moving. So that's why we get swirls around areas of high pressure and low pressure. But if you look, all of our wind here today is trying to make its way towards low pressure. And all of it is coming from areas of high pressure. If you watch the wind, it's moving away from high pressure to low pressure. That's why we get wind. Fascinating. Yeah. And that graphic. Thank you. Incredible, Ellen. <laughs> Thank you.